All right, so guys, we're gonna change the um, brake pads on the Type R, the FK Type R. Um, now, I'm gonna learn just like you guys. Uh, when you don't have the the Honda tool, your, uh, my friend Jeremy is gonna show you guys exactly what to do when, when you're changing the rear um, brake pads. The front ones are are the same. The the, um, the, piston, the four piston ones are the same. You know, pins you push them out, change the pads, and put put them at the pins. But the rear ones are a bit different and a bit more technical. So I'm gonna let Jeremy show us, show you guys and show me exactly how to change it. So I won't have to call him again. So let's go. So what's up, Jeremy? What's going on? So um, you're gonna show us how to change the brake pad on the rear because it's a bit technical, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, just like press it in with a regular screwdriver because it's different. You have a um, like a, a motor on the back yeah. for the um for the emergency brake. Oh, okay. So it's a bit different. Okay. From the regular ones. Okay. Um, I see you have a tool here. Because you normally normally there's a different tool that you have to have, right? Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that tool? I mean, it's a scanner. Okay. You basically, fit up to the OBD. Oh, to the computer. Yeah, like, tell the car that you're gonna change the rear brake, but we don't have that. So. Oh, okay. So you improvise. You make it work. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm eager to learn, so I want to call and buddy again. Because with these cars, the, um, the rear brake pads go faster than, um, yeah, than the front. Than the front I realize. Yeah. All right, so show me. All right, this this is the tool, right? What, what's this? All right, this is a power probe. This oh, is okay. something that usually basically yeah, let you shine use. Yeah. yeah. Same power. Okay, so I see you connect um, the the positive wire and the grounds. Right. Yeah, so so you, power. right, you need power. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do next? Alright, so we're gonna um we're gonna unplug the power wire that comes from the car. Okay, there's a motor the, on the brake that you're gonna you, that, that yeah. has a sensor. Yeah, this is for off. the yeah, this is for the emergency brake. Okay. So this is the thing that we are sending power to okay. to release it from the piston and then we're gonna push it in. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna pull off that little thing there. The little, yeah. little switch, the little clip. Mm -hmm. And guys, this is, this is me learning for the first time too, because I'm used, I'm old school. I, I just know to, you know, <laughs> push in um, the caliper and, and, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. What's like this car come with this thing nowadays? So once, once you pull this off, then yeah. you're gonna pull. You're gonna take out the caliper. Okay. And that's, uh, what size is, what size is that? This is, uh, um, I don't really remember, but it's a, um, what do you call it? It's, it's an Allen key. key. Yeah. Okay, so it's an Allen key. Yeah. It doesn't use regular 12 or 14 yeah. millimeter. Okay, so you just just get the right Allen key and you pull it. So you have to pull off the, that, that first. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you have to take off this first. Yeah, you have okay. to take it off. Yeah. And, okay. and these are to easy. get access to the pins on the inside. Oh, okay. Because that's where you're going to put power to. Yeah. Okay. And guys, we don't put power to this. This is this is this is out of the this out of the from picture. The car, yeah. Right, so that's out, out of the, the picture. picture. Yeah. We don't put power to that, right? Okay. This is um this is something that I'm glad it, I'm glad you're teaching me because like I've never I've never encountered anything like this and I'm sure like you work on Mercedes and everything so yeah. Yeah, I mean the uh, Mercedes guess, is a little bit different. Yeah, you don't have to use a scanner to do that. Cause right. The features. Oh yeah, all right. It's just uh, you just go yeah. where because mm -hmm. with this we have features, but it doesn't have for the bricks. Right. Just okay. So these little um things, what they do? What they hold? These little um, wires. These are the um the pins to hold the caliper in place. So when you're driving, it doesn't make a oh rattling so rattling so okay. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So you're just gonna carefully take it off. Okay. Alright, so and see guys, this is the this is the two these, these are, are the two pins, these are the positive and negative, right? Yeah. Okay, so So this is our grounds mm -hmm. and this is our live. Okay. But you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. What you have to do try to use from one side because I'm not sure. Right, so Plug you try on one, one side try first. one yeah. first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you put power on the other pin. But you have to watch the piston itself to see what see direction. if it comes out or go in. Yeah. So that's the wrong side. Oh, that's so we wrong. have to, so switch, have to switch, it switch the wrong. wire. Okay. So we have to switch the wire, guys. Side. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So more than likely then, um, if you're looking at the, at the pin, it's gonna be on your right. Yeah. So it's on your right, guys. So for the for the um for the the left for the right side, it's gonna be on your right, and for the left side, it should be on your left. Yeah. So yeah. So right. So, so it goes. It, it basically um, move remove the 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 give the, the the piston a clear way for you to um now take a screwdriver and and, and push yeah in. push push up because we still have to do the old school work guys yep. we still have to still, still, still have to use our screwdriver but you just gotta move the emergency brake out the way right right and any screwdriver that has you know a little bit of thickness and you're good and see piston is going right back in nice that's it yep and then we can put in our new brake pads which are right here <laughs> yeah. Done, yeah, these are done. <laughs> I don't know why the rear always finish before the, the, the front door. It's weird. Uh, it's kind of weird to me too because the um, more weight is right. in the front. Right, exactly. So, yeah. But these know. cars are... You know, I think it's because of the new invention of these things. Trust me, because like the older cars are not even like that, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah, it's not like that. Gotcha. All these new cars. Okay. Um, And try to remember to plug this back in once yes more. remember that guys remember to plug that back in remember to plug it back in yep so so basically all you need is a probe machine yeah power, <laughs> and probe. power probe and yeah and then you just watch back this video if you, if you don't remember what to do <laughs> yeah. but yeah as simple as that And if you if you guys wanna um, get in touch with, with Jeremy, I'm gonna leave his link in the description below. So I'll leave his Instagram, so you guys can you know link him up and thing. If you're in Florida, South Florida, yeah. How long have you been doing this? Um, since I was like 13. Okay. And um. Since I was in Jamaica. Oh, okay. Going to school there, and then like I was going to school there for a month, and then it was time for me to come here, and then I had to just leave. Come, came here, been here for like a month, and then after that, um, I went to school in Sheridan for like three years. Then from school, it was just school and work. That's it. Just back and forth. I used to work at Honda. I left Honda, and then I went to Mercedes. I've been here for like four years now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. So, what do you prefer, Honda or Mercedes? Um, well, you better answer be honest, the question. You're good enough, because <laughs> I hope a Honda people have fun. This enough. Yeah, so. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I am a Honda person. To be honest, but you see, you drive ever. When you're talking about, when you're you talking drive ever. When you're talking about reality, but you drive ever. Yeah, you drive ever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Honda ever, man. Yeah. So when you're talking about like reliability yeah it's always good with honda trust me yeah always i mean benz benz reliable to still but now they're not yeah. benz because um they're, they're reliable mm -hmm. i mean it's just that whenever someone to them they're expensive they're but expensive. if Very you keep expensive. up if you keep up with the with the with the um alignment and everything you should be good yeah just regular maintenance just keep up with the maintenance and you should be good yeah trust me so give me your honest opinion about this car. You say your uncle had one and you were driving, right? So give yeah. me your honest. Because I, I keep me, telling, me tell people this, right? I say, yo, you have to drive one before me can explain to you how yeah. nice this car is. So what you say? Like, tell me what you I want. mean, in terms of handling yeah. and all that stuff, trust me, it is good. I never drove one with wheels. I drove one with the stock wheels on there. Um, and to be honest, I really like the feeling. It right. feels really good and it's comfortable. Suspension. Nice. It's not too stiff and it's not too hard. It's just... Yeah, Comfortable. yeah, 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 yeah. Same, 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 same here. Yeah. Trust me, really and nice trust cars. Me, you can daily the hell out of these cars. <laughs> yeah, really? of course. So there you have it, guys. So, and the, the next side, the same, same, same application, and you're done. Just put That's on it. back your wheels, and yeah, and torque it back up, and ready to drive again. And I said the front ones were, were good, so I did not have to change those. But next time, no, I want to call Jeremy, so, <laughs> so I'm good now. <laughs>
it's always good it's always good to learn because you're never too old to learn you know something new you see me so and Jeremy kindly tell the people how much money may save by doing this doing it do it yourself right here because how much would I pay the dealer maybe somewhere like around three $300? Okay. You hear, you hear that, guys? Yeah. $300. Labor is like, I think, labor okay. is like 195 To change breakfast. Yeah. All right. Trust me. So, you see? Good to, to do things yourself. Yep. So, yeah, guys, that's why, that's why, you know, I try to learn to do everything myself. And, you know, simple stuff. See how much money I can save. And you can do the same thing too. Just, you know, you don't have, you, you, you don't know something, just Google it, you know, just go on YouTube. I guarantee you, it's there. So, I'm gonna leave Jeremy's link in the description below. You guys can, you know, talk to him anytime. He's a cool dude, so, you know, he will answer any questions. Um, yeah, so, thanks again, guys. And remember to like, share, subscribe. And remember to please hit that notification bell so you know when we drop another video. And, um, yeah, guys, until the next time. Thanks again. Much squad. Respect.